Hi, I'm Angela. Welcome to Thinkery at Home. Now that it's been so hot out, I've been looking for ways to stay cool. So today, we're going to make a frozen toy rescue. This exploration is a great way for children to use their senses to explore the properties of water on a hot day. For this activity, you will need the following materials. Large bowl, water, small items. You can use small toys, cups, scoops, or other small containers. Now that we have all our supplies, let's get started. To begin, select a small handful of your items. Today, I'm using this truck, ball, and marker. We're gonna place them in the bottom of the bowl. I recommend using toys or items that your child is interested in. Fill your bowl with enough water to cover them and place in the freezer. You'll want the first layer to freeze completely before adding more. Once your first layer is frozen, place some more small items in and cover again with water. You can do this two to three times depending on the size of your bowl. Once your bowl is completely frozen, you're ready to explore. This is a great activity to do outdoors, but if you're doing it indoors, I recommend placing the ice into a bin or doing this directly in the bathtub. To remove the ice from the bowl, it may need to sit out for a few minutes to defrost a bit. Flip your ice out of the bowl and then fill the bowl back up with some water and your small containers. Now you're ready to play. Using your hands, try touching the ice. How does it feel? What do you notice about it? You can also use your cups and water to explore what happens when you pour water onto the ice. As you play, you may begin to notice that the ice is getting smaller, and you may also be able to retrieve your toys. This is because the ice is melting, which means it's going from the solid phase, ice, back to its liquid phase, water. Can you rescue all the items that were frozen in the ice? Thank you for joining me for this activity. If you decide to try this at home, we'd love to see your photos and videos. Just remember to tag us at hashtag at home. See you next time.